Okay, so let's calculate the internal rate of return. So using the previous investing scenario, which I'll show in a second, assume the investment is available for purchase at a price of $19,000. What is Peeve's yield if he agrees to this price? So here's the previous scenario that we just did to calculate the net present value. So Peeves is considering an investment opportunity. If he purchases the investment over the next five years, he will receive the following cash flows. Year two of 5,000, year eight, sorry, year three, 8,000, and year 15, my gosh, sorry, year five, 14,000. How much should Peeves pay for this? That's what we did. We calculated the net present value. And now we're going to calculate the internal rate of return. So step one is to visualize the problem using a cash flow timeline which we did here. Um, but now we know this number, it is $19,000. But year one, he didn't have any return. Year two, he had $5,000 return. Year eight was 8,000, sorry, year three was $8,000. Year four was zero. And we have a buster here causing trouble. And year five was 14,000. Uh, dollars was his rate of return. And now, so we enter the cash flows on a cash flow calculator. And I highly recommend that you follow your manual. If you still have it, your financial calculator manual, it is very handy for uh, following for performing these types of calculations. Because each calculator is a little bit different. Okay, so first things first, we want to clear the calculator. So that is second function. Hey, get out of there. Getting into my coffee. Second function alpha zero zero. Get. I'll put a piece of paper over top of it. There we go. Second function alpha zero zero. And now we want to clear any previous cash flow data that may be stored in the calculator. So we do that by pressing the CFI button, second function, and the CA or mode button. And that's clearing all the cash flow data. So you make sure your calculator is in normal mode and it doesn't say anything here, so it is in normal mode. And in order to do, well, we can do that. We can do mode and zero and that sets it into the normal mode. So let's enter the cash flow data. Get out of there. So the cash flow data is minus 19,000. And then we hit this data button. It's also the enter button. We have zero data, 5,000 data, 8,000 data. <laughs> Let's start. Uh oh, we need to start over because Buster um, Buster got into that one. So let's clear the cash flow again, just to make sure. Second function, or, or CFI rather, second function CA. And let's start this again. It's a normal mode zero. So plus minus 19,000. And data zero data, 5,000 data, 8,000 data, zero data, 14,000 data. And now you want to hit the second function and cash. So the next step, now that all of our data is entered, it's second function cash, which is also the CFI button. And you want, we want to calculate this internal rate of return. So we hit compute and it is 9.74. So the IRR of the payment stream is 9.74% of the investment stream. Sorry, if the investment stream is purchased for $19,000. So that's his internal rate of return is 9.74%. And thank you, Buster, for showing up again. And there he is. Oh. Knuckle biting time. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching.